do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello students, today we are studying chapter Human Health and Diseases. In that, we are studying topic Asymptomatic AIDS Carrier. Now, whenever somebody acquires AIDS, there are certain window periods. The symptoms before the window period and the symptoms after the window period are different. Let's study about these symptoms. When I say asymptomatic AIDS carrier, it means a, a carrier who has got HIV infection in his or her body, but the symptoms are very, very minor. Or you can say those are those symptoms which cannot be identified easily. And once these symptoms are developed into full-blown AIDS or they form ARC complex till that time, it's impossible or negligible to catch hold of these symptoms. Now, these symptoms could be very simple like you can have fever, chills, nausea, vomiting, enlarged or swollen lymph nodes. Basically, your lymphatic systems can be affected to a certain quantity. There could be weight loss that could be observed. 10% of the body weight is gradually lost slowly and steadily. Chronic diarrhea can happen after a certain period or the incubation period of AIDS. However, once the person is highly infected or the HIV virus has transmitted in the body, it has used the reverse transcriptase enzyme and converted its single standard RNA into double stranded DNA, formed all its machinery and developed thousand numbers of copy inside your body and tried and killed almost all your T helper cells, cytotoxic T cells, memory B cells, ACPs or antigen presenting cells. Till that time, it's almost impossible to trace down these symptoms. Also, uh, the virus of AIDS has an incubation period of almost 10 years. So it can stay in your body for 10 years without causing any symptoms and still you could be the carrier of that particular disease. Asymptomatic AIDS carrier. And when I say asymptomatic AIDS carrier, it means the symptoms are present. The incubation of HIV virus is present inside that individual's body, but the symptoms are not so harsh that it could be noticed immediately and effectively cure can be given. Now, asymptomatic carriers could be said those carriers, those who have just mild symptoms or symptoms which are very new. The newly infected individuals show symptoms like low grade fever like recurrent fevers one day they will have a fever second day they, they could be very normal chills continuous feeling of cold aches in the body there could be muscular dystrophy or normal ache or pain in the body swollen of the lymph nodes now lymph nodes which are swollen especially during the neck region of the body or lower back of the body there are itchy red color rashes all over the face thighs upper hands all of them basically the exposed part of the body if it comes through a contact of dust, polluting agents, all of them. Weight loss is seen and that's 10% of the weight is lost eventually. Chronic diarrhea that can long over a month and even cannot be treated with the intake of antibiotics, antidiarrheal medicines, all of them. Symptoms may disappear within 9 to 12 months. Now, this minor symptoms may come and go within a span of 9 to 12 months.
the incubation period or the time period for which AIDS virus survives in your body may be up to 10 years. It means that AIDS are gained entry inside your body but the retrovirus is not using its reverse transcriptic enzyme to convert the single stranded RNA to double stranded DNA and hence it is not forming any of its machinery neither making its copy. You can say it is just present inside your body and in the latent form. This virus can cause damage to the immune system in later part of its stage or later part of its life. The early symptoms of AIDS or minor symptoms of AIDS can be associated with symptoms like bronchitis which is inflammation of the bronchioles region of the respiratory tract or it could be tuberculosis which is TB. In certain cases it can be associated with pneumonia. This makes early diagnosis difficult for AIDS because the early symptoms of AIDS are very similar to other diseases like tuberculosis, pneumonia, bronchitis. This makes the test even difficult. Now, tests for AIDS which are ELISA and Western blot. Now, Western blot could be a confirmatory test but ELISA is a test which is even used for typhoid. So, which can have false positive as well as false negative result. Until unless an individual has developed full-blown AIDS, till that point, it's impossible to find out or just to strike out to make out a difference that the person has been infected with HIV virus and whether that HIV is it's in full-blown state or it's latent form and sleeping inside the individual. Students, this whole part was about a symptomatic AIDS carrier or a carrier who has just got minor symptoms in it and it is very difficult to detect. I hope students, we all are very clear about this concept. Thank you.